Life is like a brain tumor. We are all going to die. Sounds kind of harsh, I know, <laughs> but it's true. We are all going to die. So you might as well shape your life the way you want it to be. It's time for you to be the editor of your life story and create the life that you want because we are all going to die, some people sooner than others, but it's time for you to take control and to start creating the life and the story that you want and the life that you can look back upon saying, hey, I lived the life that I wanted to live. I'm so happy you found my channel. My name is Rachel Smets and I make all these videos to help you create the life that you desire. If you're stuck in a career, stuck in a nine to five and you want to break through and break free, that's what all my videos are about and I help people and I help my clients to do just that. Because life is short and you want to live a life without regrets, then make sure you watch my videos and you subscribe to that red button right below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Please stay until the end because I have a free gift for you as well. So life is like a brain tumor. We are all going to die. So what story are you creating for yourself? How do you want to shape your life? Think about it. What kind of life is fulfilling to you? What kind of life is meaningful to you? And what does it take to start living it? It sounds really easy and simple. And I know it's not always that easy because I've been there. But the truth is that I started realizing the stories I was telling myself, the stories that I'm sure you recognize, like I'm not good enough story or the imposter syndrome story, the he or she is so lucky story, or they have it all, but I can't have it. I don't deserve it story. I've had all those stories. I used to compare myself to others and just especially with social media, you know, you, all you have to do is scroll down social media and see all these beautiful success stories. And I thought, mm, they have it. They're so lucky. And I'm not bull. I hate cursing. I'm not going to do it, but it's not true. So I stopped creating those stories that are, were keeping me stuck. And I started living my life. And I say I started because I have to tell you that I used to be very shy. I didn't talk to people. I had such a low confidence. I was afraid to speak up. I was afraid of what other people would think of me. I was afraid of other people laughing at me. I was afraid of how I looked, how my hair was. I was afraid to share my own thoughts, to share my opinion. But I overcame all of those fears and I am now living the life that I truly desire, a life that I'm traveling the world, a life that gives me energy, a life of meeting new people, a life where I'm actually speaking in public and standing on stage, a life where I'm sharing my inspiration with you through these videos. And I could have never started doing all of this if I would have kept myself telling those negative stories that kept me stuck because that's what it is. I realized that everything starts in my mind. Your mind creates your reality. And the moment I started believing and realizing that my life shifted because your thoughts create your reality. And the more I had these negative thoughts and limiting beliefs, and I'm not good enough and I'm going to be alone and I, nobody uh, likes me and whatnot, it keeps me stuck. But I started thinking, wait a minute, I can do this. I will do this. I can succeed. I can be the person I truly want to be. That life is out there for me. And I started believing and trusting in myself. And that's how I started growing. But I also understand how difficult it is to start a new chapter. When I'm talking about stories, I always think about a book and I actually, I wrote a few books myself. So it's, it's, it's like the writer's block, right? It's the same thing in life. Like, yeah, I want to, but I'm stuck. Yeah. I want to write a book, but I don't know. I have a writer's block. It's blank, but that's the beauty of it. 
If you start with a blank state, you can create it the way you want. You can actually start telling the story that you want. And just like chapters in a book, you start writing one chapter and the other one unfolds and the other one and the other one and the other one. And that's the same thing in life. You know, you don't know the end of the story. I don't know the end of my story yet, but I'm creating it. I'm, I'm writing every chapter as I go. And that's the thing that was holding me back for so long is that I always wanted to know the destination. But that's impossible. You can't sit in a car, go from point A to point B and, and, and seeing point B right away. No, you have to drive and keep driving. You can't go in the elevator, go into level 10 and just go into the elevator and then suddenly be on level 10. No, you have to go through level one and two and three and so forth. So everything in life unfolds, but it's the story you tell yourself that matters. And the story you have been living until now does not have to be the story of your future. No, your past does not equal your future. You can actually start telling a new story, creating new chapters. Your future is out there for you. And it doesn't mean that because you failed in the past, you made mistakes, that it's going to be the same in the future. That's the thing. You have to make mistakes. I want you to make mistakes because that's the only way you learn and you grow. And life is a journey. Life is a journey and it should be fun. And you can create that story that you want. You can make a new version. You can be the editor of your story. If you had a certain story, go in there, edit it and create new stories and new chapters. I know it's kind of maybe hard to grasp, but it's so important to know the power of your mind. And that's what I talk about so much because it's so important. You cannot succeed. Not one successful person I know will not mention the power of the mind. If you tell yourself you can't do it, then that's what you will get. If you tell yourself you can do it, that's what you will get. And get this, life does not give you what you want. Life gives you what you believe in. I will repeat, life does not give you what you want. Life gives you what you believe in. What story, what thought are you giving? Believe in. That was not a correct sentence, but it doesn't matter. You get my point. So it's time for you to shape your story the way you want it while you are alive. Because yes, we're all going to die and life is short and you only have one life. So which life are you going to look back upon? The one that you like, the one that you don't regret, the one that you wanted to live or a one that you regret. It's up to you. Shape your story while you are alive. It's so important. I want you to be happy and live the life you want. And I, I'm happy to help you with that. I work with coaches too. I'm happy to, to shape that life for you. You don't have to stay stuck. I stayed stuck in a career because I thought that was it. That was my future. But no, I started realizing I can shape the future and the story that I want. I want you to go in your life story and shape it. Be the editor and create the story that you want. What story do you want to tell? What story, what life will you look back upon when you grow old? I want to know, comment below, please comment below. And the free gift I want to tell you is I'm happy to hop on a call with you for free so that you can start shaping your story, get clarity. If you're ready to break through and change your career, quit your nine to five and you're stuck and you want more clarity, I have a free training video right below, or I can also go on a call with you and just start shaping that new story. It's too important and I get so excited talking about it, but I want you to be happy and live the life without regrets. So make sure you continue watching my videos, you comment below, you subscribe to that red button and you hit that notification bell and you can shape your story. Be the editor and go and create and start rewriting your story. If you're not happy, you can be happy. See you in the next video.